in what, the commercial area. Okay, what is your name? Joe Huffman. Okay, I'm interviewing Joe Huffman on a code enforcement issue. Him and a hundred other people. Joe, can you tell us why you're here today? Because I've been harassed for the last three years by code enforcement. Same guy. Same guy. Yeah. And your fines are how much this time? How much are they up to now? Well, I got a $418 one. I got two for 200 and some dollars. And you can't even read. You can't even read the violation no. on your code enforcement. Okay, now. I had to call see when my court date was. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Okay, let me ask you this, sir. You, you've been in Vietnam. You you fought for this country. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Okay, I mean, look at what do you think about me being out in a free speech zone in front of a courthouse? I mean, if I come out of the free speech zone, I mean, this stuff is unconceivable to think that what they're doing. They've got these code enforcement. What they're doing is they're generating revenue for the county. They're gen. They're, they're all they're that's doing. What it's about. That's what they're doing. Now, let me ask you this. Um, I mean, maybe you can tell us. I mean, I mean, do you, you told me that they would. He came out and said you wanted. He wanted you to fix your carport up, to fix a shed up. You fixed the shed up and the carport, and then he came out and told he wants you to tear him down. Now he, yes. this has been going on for three years. Yeah, three years I've been dealing with this. Three years, and then they got you for commercial stuff, and you have nothing to do with commercial. Is that no, correct? No, I don't. I used to work on cars years ago, but I don't do it anymore. I. Uh, well, this don't have nothing I to do with you. I my own vehicle. Okay. And I had a floor jack out there, so he called it a commercial. A floor jack? Yeah. For jacking your car? Yeah. And this has been going on for how many years? Three, three years. And I, I just don't, I don't understand, is it? I paid fines once. I mean, I did community service. I didn't have the money. Let me ask you, Joe, do you, do you, you know how to read, don't you? Yeah, I know how to read. Have you ever read your Constitution or your Bill of Rights? Uh, yes, I have. Well, what about your Fourth Amendment rights to be left alone and... and so forth. I well, mean, I believe in that, but apparently the court system doesn't. Well, that's that's very obvious. I mean, if I was I, standing in front of the courthouse in a free speech zone, and um, they're to, and they're to, and they took an oath to defend our First Amendment right, which is our right to speak. Yeah. I mean. Well, it seems like we have less and less rights all the time. Yeah. So, what are you going to do with these fines of eight hundred and something dollars? You going to pay them? No. Well, how are you going to get what, what, community what you service? I guess I don't have the money to pay them. You going to do community service? You're how old? I'm 68 years old. Well, what if you have a heart attack while you're doing the community well, service? I've got medical issues now, <laughs> so it don't matter. Yeah. yeah. What about the stress? I mean, this has been going on for how many years now? Three. Three years. And the fines are up to 800 and how much? Well, it was a thousand something before. Okay. And can you show me that report again? You couldn't even see it? All three uh, of them, I guess. All three of them. You can't even see what, what the violation is. Okay. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus in on them. Yeah, I mean, you 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 just you're just not able to read it. Well, none of them. None of them. There was a, there's another one. I mean, he taped them my door like that. He taped them your door like that, and you don't even know what they're for. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't, because I don't know what to do to straighten it out. <laughs> it's called the Dummy Down of America. And man. then I asked him in court for a copy of that, and the guy said, "Send me a letter. That I'll send you a copy of." He asked you to send him a letter. Yeah. Requesting a copy. Yeah. Of of the violations they're charging you with. Yeah. Exactly. And then uh, I talked to this code enforcement guy. His name is Angie. I said, "Don't you have to prove me guilty?" He said, "No, you got to prove you're innocent." That's what it is. You're now guilty and then proven innocent. And then, and then said, it's going to cost you everything you've got to prove your innocence, buddy. More than what I've got. <laughs> And then uh, I asked him several questions, you know, I said, uh, uh, how come you have me fix my shed and my carport, which is attached to my house, and then tell me to tear it down? And I said, every time I do what you ask me to do, you come back and find more. And then change it. And then change it. I even went in front of the judge the last time, and he told the judge what he wanted done. I did that, and then he came out and found more stuff. So. And you're back here again? Huh? Well, what about those other people you said this code enforcement guy is harassing? They'd love to kill him. <laughs> and yeah. they're not violent people. I mean, they, he's harassed them so bad, it's unbelievable. It's like, uh, matter of fact, right there he is. The little guy. The little guy? That's him? Huh? 
That's the guy harassing you. Yeah. You got little man syndrome. He thinks like a little opponent or something, you know, or whatever he says, he's God. Yep. Do you know his name? Angie. His name is Angie? Oh, Angie. Okay. Well, that's great. And, and okay, and you lived in Pinellas County for how many years? I've lived in Pinellas County since 1978. Since 1978. And, uh, You've been paying taxes and oh, all abiding yeah. citizen. Fought for this country. Yeah, I was working and fought for this country, everything. And and you and you get a you get a pension of how much money? What is your social security you said? You get five hundred and ninety dollars a month. Five hundred and ninety dollars a month. That's what you live on. Yeah. Plus a little help from some agencies. You know. Yeah. Oh, you need it now. Huh? Everybody, listen, the country is in, in big, big trouble. I mean, it's being raped oh, and robbed that. by our politicians. Well, sir, listen, I want to thank you. Is there anything else you want to say before I turn this off? I've been living a nightmare is all I know. Listen, they you want you dead, make, buddy. You, you cannot make these people happy because they nitpick. They found a little speck of rust on my fence and I replaced my fence. Uh, all kinds of stuff you would not believe. A speck of rust? A little surface rust on my fence pole. He told me I had to replace it. And did you do it? No. Yeah. Listen, tell the guy to listen. Go get a real job. I mean, what yeah. in the world's wrong with these people? Well, I don't know. If I get a lawyer, I get a lawyer against him, but I can't do that even. Yeah. Listen, listen I'll, I'll just do what I can to help you here. We'll, we'll see if we can get this published and see if we can get some help. Okay. Appreciate All right. it. All right.